Hey guys, it's Celeste and Charlie. She's over here coloring um, in her little happy planner, actually. Um, with, <laughs> we're with Lazy JX Ranch. Um, I just wanted to kind of do a um, kind of flip through of my um, January 2020 um, setup. I am still Franken planning slash transformer planning. Um, if you don't know what Franken planning means, that means when you take aspects of different planners and you put them all together um, in, onto one set of discs. Um, so you could have, like with me, I have my catch-all planner here. I have my schedule planner here. I have my social media and my work planner here. Um, and I have my budget planner here. I have my... Um, health and wellness planner here and then I have my faith planner here so I basically have I think 11 planners if I remember right I have 11 planners on here on one set of disc and I did move to the expander disc just because I found that the classic disc um, all my pages were getting like on this part of my pages were getting like just destroyed um, I don't know if I have a page I can show you that was in. Anyways, I loved um, the classic planner or the classic sized rings, but it's not worth my planner um, getting ruined. Um, so, anyways, I just kind of wanted to do a quick flip through of how I'm using this planner, how I have it set up. So, right here, my family. Um, we invested in Hulu and Netflix and because um, I'm with Verizon and with my Verizon plan, I get a full year of the Disney Plus. And for Christmas, I got a Roku um, for my TV. So we are coming up with um, movie uh, series that we can watch together as a family. And then I just wrote them down here. This is just kind of a brainstorm. We started with Avengers. We watched most of the Avengers. Let's see, we watched Black Panther and Avengers Infinity Wars this weekend. So we invested in Hulu and we invested in Netflix. So we have Disney Plus, Hulu and Netflix. So we are um, kind of trying to watch movies together as a family instead of my kids like watching YouTube or something else like that. So I just have an extra DFT. Um, this is a foam sticker that has um, like a lot of vitamins and minerals and stuff that can be absorbed through your skin. You just stick it, here's mine that I'm wearing today. You just kind of stick it on your skin and then it just slowly absorbs through your skin throughout the day. It's helped me with my aches and discomforts and um, helps me sleep better and stuff like that. So at the beginning, I have my um, Dream Seeker planner. So here I just have, these were um, tabs. And this is actually the backing off of the tabs so that you could add something to your planner without punching it. Um, so the little piece that came with this was sticky right here and you would just stick it to whatever you wanted to add to your planner um, and you wouldn't have to punch it so like birthday invitations or something like that but anyways for some reason I kept the backs to them um, so I decided to just use them here so I have this one marked as daily so this is where I'm gonna mark you know daily important things for the year um, and then I actually have my Dream Seeker Planner here. Um, it's only the 2nd of January. So actually I need to mark this. And oh, whoops, not that one, this. I didn't do that that day, but. Um, so here is, uh, I've already got this listed off. I can do that one right there. And that right there. I'm going to hurry and check those off before I get busy and forget. So I did have this broken up into sections, but I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to running to-do list. <laughs> so 
and then whatever doesn't get checked off this month will get moved to next month. Here is the rodeo schedule um, for 2020 for my kids. And then we come over here to my wrong, wrong dashboard layout. That's a little um, thing that my daughter and I were doing the other day. Um, I have some sticky notes here. Here is my monthly layout. Um, and this is actually this week. I took this out because I was doing my um, plan with me. So this needs to go here. So this is next week's um, plan with me. And I just, I put my divider either a week before or a week behind so that all I have to do is grab this from wherever I am at at my planner. Um, and yeah, so I have a divider. Um, this is a journaling stencil from the Happy Planner. It's marked this month and I just used colorful boxes. Um, let's see, I have one. There's one. I just used um, let's see if I can find it. Oh, right there. I just used these boxes to kind of make my labels. Um, so I have one marked for projects. So that's my running to do list out of my um, dream seeker. I have this month and I have my catch all planner here. And then I have, well, I have my meal plans here. I did have this in my budget section, but I, um, kept moving my meal plans to my catch-all so that I would have easy access to them. Um, so I just decided to move my meal plans over here. So I have my first divider, and this is what kind of makes this a Franken plan slash transformer plan. If this was a true transformer planner, um, where is it? It's right here. I would have the front. No, honey, it's fine. Charlie, no. <laughs> she thinks somebody's knocking at the door, but the dogs are not barking and I don't want her running out and opening the door. So if this was a true transformer planner, I would have the front and the back covers right here. Um, and so you would flip it like this. No, Charlie, do not open up the front door. Charlie. Um, so you would have the front and the back cover here. Or I could go back to this and it would be a totally separate planner. But because I keep this planner or keep up my um, transformer planner in a deluxe cover, I have no need for the back covers. Um, this is a really great concept to use because it allows you to use all of your favorite covers. Um, also for me, it's easier to separate the sections. I don't have covers for every planner, but I do have covers to separate the sections. So this I am using as a schedule planner. So I have my husband write down um, the days that he's gonna be out of town um, with work here. And then I have my schedule here. Um, my daughter got really, Charlie got really, really sick here. So I, yeah, we haven't really been using it. And then this is next week's spread. I do use this planner just last week didn't happen. So I have my social media planner here and I learned this trick from Heather Kell. Um, I had this little mini dashboard layout, um, and since I got my deluxe cover, I wasn't using my um, mini dashboard layout. I wasn't using my mini at all. And so I was afraid that it was just gonna sit there. I'm gonna put this hurt back in real quick. I was afraid that it was just gonna go to waste. Um, but luckily Heather Kell from Kell of a Plan came out with a video showing how to use the dashboard layout as a social media planner and huge lifesaver. So here I kind of write down video ideas. It doesn't necessarily have to be planner related. Um, so here I write down video ideas. Here I write down um, 
the planner video, so I'll write down the planner and the stickers I'm going to use. And then any videos that I need to edit and then upload, I'll put here and then I'll check them off as I get them edited and then cross them off as I upload them. So this way none of my videos are getting lost or left behind. Here's um, Facebook post ideas and Instagram post ideas. And then right here I keep track of my um, subscribers and how many views I have and then um, my Instagram followers. Um, if you want to follow me, I'm on Instagram, um, Lazy JX Ranch Cowgirl Plans. Um, so that's where you can find me on Instagram. Um, so, and then on the, the weekly section here on these dailies, I will post like the to-do list for that day. So it's really nice because I don't have to <laughs> let this planner go to waste. So then I have my encourager. Um, this is my work planner. So I have my sponsors, um, my upline on my team. I have their numbers here in case I need them. Um, here, let's see. Here I am supposed to be. I haven't been very well at it, but keeping track of my um, stats. So like... Um, how many new customers, how many new promoters, the total team sales and stuff. I'll keep track of that there. And then this is the encourager planner, but I don't really care for the style of the encourager planner. I just love the layout. This layout is a huge lifesaver for me, um, but the style of the planner was just kind of like, ugh. <laughs> if that makes sense. So I luckily, so the dividers drove me crazy. Um, basically it was the dividers and the cover. Um, so I had the um, Empowered Women Planner. So this is the cover off of the Empowered Women Planner. It was a tw 2019 um, planner lined vertical planner um and I could not get the layout to work for me I I had high hopes for it and I really gave it an honest shot couldn't get the layout to work for me but I loved the cover I loved the dividers and I loved the whole theme of the planner I hate the theme of the encourager but I love the layout um so I just used double-sided tape right here so here's the divider, the January divider for the encourager, and this is the January divider for the um, the empowered women. Um, so this is a 2019 calendar for the empowered women. So instead of redating it, I'm just double side tape right here. And in the whole scheme of things, having a you know a super thick piece of paper right there is not that big of a deal. So here I am tracking wins for the day, um, my my work wins. So like, you know, I hit somebody up off my chicken list or something like that. Um, so this is the Encourager layout. It's huge, huge, huge for me. Um, I do have, this has got personal information. Those are, um, that's got personal information. <laughs> um, yeah, so those are just work things that I created. Um, today is Thursday. I did start on this, um, but Charlie decided she wanted to do my hair and was spraying my water, or spraying my hair with water. Let's <laughs> clarify that. And so I had to put the planner away, but I was still working. Um, so I just need to go through and check the stuff off that I did. So here I have, these are out of a um, teacher accessory pack. These are the checklist. So um, the classroom checklist. So you have the names here and then, you know, you can check off things. So here I have um, the names of my customers or promoters. This is pretty much anybody who orders. And then I just check off that they ordered.
you put water in your cereal. Oops. <laughs> so oh, it's yucky. Um, so here are just some notes that I have, um, work related notes. So, and then my next section is my budget and household section. Um, this was an undated uh, budget planner um, that came out in 2019, I want to say. And the cover was just, ugh, I love it. I love it so much. So I bought it and I bought the 18 month budget planner. Um, and it start, started in July and I wanted to start it in May. And so the undated budget planner actually proved beneficial in that aspect. So um, I do have what's left of that in there. This um, divider was out of the home extension pack that came out in 2019. Super cute. I had bought two stargazers. Um, so I have just bills and, and paydays listed on this quarter of a glance stuff. Um, this was out of the household extension pack. Um, I need to take that out. No, it has the currently for January, that's why. And then I just, this is the currently for February, but it has all your bills. So it had your bills at the very end of the month, which I found frustrating. So I just moved it to the front. Um, here is my monthly view. I just have a list of bills that are due. So this is how I use this planner and I'll move. No, I can't because I haven't filled it out for next week. I'm behind. <laughs> so this is how I use this planner. So I have, um, my daily routines here and this is kind of like a habit tracker. And then I have my daily chore routines here as a habit tracker. And then on this bottom section, um, I list every penny that comes in or out. Um, so anything I buy, any bills I pay, any, you know, money I receive from wherever it gets listed here. And then you have these expense trackers at the end. Um, so all I have to do is go through, take this out and go through and write everything down. Um, and then I can figure out the totals from there. I have all the bills for the entire month listed here, and then I have a section to list income, and I will have that on every week. Where I got these little circles from yeah. is from this line, it up stenciled from the Happy Planner. It's designed for the classic size vertical boxes. Um, this I don't have labeled because I know if I see that lined it up, I know it's my budget section. Um, so then I just have a little folder that came in a budget extension pack. And so I can put receipts and stuff in there till it gets recorded. Okay. And then I have, this is out of the home extension pack. It has chores and stuff here. And then my next divider would be, Hey, hold on. My next divider is my health and wellness, um, section. Um, this was a vision board slash divider I made last year. I haven't made a new one. Um, but anyways, I have that here. I have, uh, Catherine, honey, I have Catherine Ponder's prosperity decree sheet. Um, I highly suggest you look that up if you're into, um, affirmations. Yep. That's roping. Um, if you're into affirmations, she kind of puts it on a, uh, Christian, you know, like the law of attraction, but, um, how it connects with the Christian, um, aspects, how it, it connects to the Bible and stuff like that. So, um, I have that, that sister. Yep. Okay. Don't, don't touch that. Okay. So my next, uh, planner that I have, or my first planner in, in my health and wellness is the be well planner. And this is a healthy hero layout um, for my perpetual calendar or quarter at a glance. I'm tracking my sleep times um, and percentages. Um, I get that from my watch. I wear my watch while I'm asleep and I charge it while I'm in my shower. 
and then Mommy. I will track my steps for the day. Uh, ring again. I do have some of this filled out already. House. This, okay, shh. This, the, my monthly view, I am kind of writing down some gratitudes and kind of journaling on the prompts. Each month has a different prompt. And, okay, shh. <laughs> this top section, I'm writing down kind of like a positive um, motivational thing here at the top or like an affirmation thing. Yeah. Whatever I feel like I need that day, I'm writing up at the top. Here I have it broken down to breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and then my Thrive, whatever I took Thrive-wise for that day. And then here I'm recording any type of movement that I did, like I did grocery shopping, I fed horses. And then here I'm just kind of using these little journal prompts. Um, this was the first week. We It was crazy. I didn't get it decorated. This is next week's, and I did kind of decorate it. Um, so I'm excited to try it decorated. Yeah, Christmas is over. Christmas is over. So now I have my stargazer. Yeah. Trying to leave something to come. <laughs> I'm kind of writing down my wins here. Um, I haven't filled this out. I did tape together my monthly because I don't plan on using that. Um, I haven't really had the time to kind of dive into this. Um, I can mark these off though, because I've been really good. I did my gratitude and my affirmations and my personal development. So, okay. hey, don't play with the light, because I need to be able to see. So here I'm just writing down affirmations every day. Every day I write down at least, stop. I write down at least one affirmation a day. So, and then it's kind of nice because I can just read through that one affirmation. Um, so here I have my pastel dreams, which is my diary, basically. Um, not basically, it is my diary. Um, here in the perpetual calendar, I'm tracking my mood and I'm separating it by a.m. and p.m., because I don't know if you're like me, you know, I start out the day feeling one way, end up feeling another by the end of the day. So I am um, breaking it up to a.m. and p.m. So here's the currently page for that. Um, the monthly view, I'm using it to kind of um, recognize the things that I love about my life or like about my life. And I'm basically, from the moment I wake up, um, every chance I get, I'm writing down um, whatever happened that day. Positive, negative, whatever. Um, so you'll see there's different inks because I started with one pen, ended with another. <laughs> so this is next week. I actually decorated it and I like it. I think it's cute. Um, I did add some functional things to it. Um, so here I'm going to list some things I can do for myself. I have a word of the week and make time to that kind of stuff. <clears throat> and then there's just some encouraging things here. So here I just have note papers to journal on. Um, there's no restrictions here. I just have like a little note section. And then I have my Psalms planner, which is my faith planner. I have temple names here that I can take to the temple. Um, whenever I get a chance, I have it with me. Um, this planner is so beautiful. I don't know if you've seen it yet. I do have a detailed flip through of it, um, somewhere. <laughs> if I knew how to link it to this video, I would link it. Um, but anyways, I do have detailed flip throughs of all of these planners. Um, so I follow... Um, because I am, I belong to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I'm a Mormon. So this year we are studying the Book of Mormon. Last year we were studying the New Testament. So this year we're studying the Book of Mormon. We're following the Come Follow Me program. Um, I tried to get it set up so that each week I was staying with the Come Follow Me program. I don't like to go slow on things. Um... <laughs> So, um, I did kind of have to, uh, 
Yeah. So last year I got way ahead of the Come Follow Me program and then had to go back um, and and catch up with, or yeah, go back to where everybody else was. Um, this year I did find on Pinterest the organizedmom.net. Um, she has it listed out so that every day you have a scripture to study. Um, sometimes it's just a chapter, sometimes it's just a verse. Um, so I have all the way through the year, each day I have the scripture written down here. I did try and do it on my perpetual calendar, but I should have like printed it up somehow and kind of figured it out on a separate piece of paper and then transferred it to this, but I got in a hurry. I told you I don't like to go slow. I got in a hurry and did it wrong. And so um, I had to do it in my monthly view. So what I was intending to use my monthly view for is kind of like recognizing God's hand in my life every day. Um, <clears throat> I'm calling it my spiritual wins. So, but the way I wrote the scripture in here every day, um, I still have room to write down my spiritual wins for the day. So we, this is the first week, today's the second. As you can see, I'm, I'm sticking with it. So I just kind of wrote down the scripture of the day here on the top here, um, all the way through the month. So that's that part. And then that's, that's all I have. Um, here I do have, let's see. Oh my goodness. I totally goofed. So I have a zebra F301 0.7 millimeter pen. These are refillable pens. So I just have to buy the little cartridge and you unscrew it and put the new cartridge in there and it's stainless steel. So it's not going to break. Um, so that's a zebra brand and you can buy them at Walmart or pretty much any store like that. And then I have the Zebra Sarasva, Sarasa, Sarasa Dry X20.07 millimeter. So this is a Zebra brand as well. Um, this is actually a gel pen. And what I like about it is it doesn't smudge. Um, it's, it's, you know, it dries immediately, so it doesn't, like, smudge everywhere. And it lasts forever. Um, I tried a few other different gel pens. I like the feel of a gel pen as it writes. Um, I've tried a few other gel pens, but they, I go through them super fast. But this one has lasted forever, and I could find it at Walmart. It came in... Uh, pack with lots of different colors so I have lots of different colors there and then I have I should be a zebra representative but I'm not so this is the zebra mild liner it's a mild ink this is a highlighter so you have this kind of highlighter marker on one end and then you have a fine tip Shh, honey and then you have a fine tip on this end so really nice marker I have it um, separated I have this color for home stuff this for work kids um, my husband and then me and then what I have in here this is a electric stylist so you charge it like you do your phone um, you have just a regular stylus, so even if the battery dies on this, it's electric magnetic, electromagnetic. So you have this stylus on the end, and it is magnetic. I think it was twenty dollars at Walmart, but it kind of it gives me the fine tip, whereas this is more broad. Um, so I have the fine tip, so it's kind of like a generic Apple pencil. Um, so it works on my phones, it works on my iPad, um, because I do have an old, old iPad, one of the first iPad minis, um, and it works just fine on it. Um, and you can turn it on, turn it off, just like that. So I keep that in my planner, and then I have pictures of Jesus at the Last Supper. 
Um, I feel it's important to kind of have a religious aspect with you at all times. I have some scratch paper here that we're um, brainstorming um, different movies that we want to watch as a family. And then I just have some extra DFTs with me. So that is my January 2020 planner. <laughs> oh, there was something caught. Anyway, we got it figured out. Um, this is the Rose Gold Deluxe um, Happy Planner cover. And yeah. yeah, it's chunky. It's a chunky monkey, but I love this. I love this cover. Um, and it's really the markers and the pens that make it chunky. If I eliminated those, the planner would fit more comfortably, but yeah, whatever. Mama, I'm not going to get rid of my markers. So, <laughs> and I, I need to have them all in one place, if that makes sense. Um, I can't have one bag with the pens and one bag, you know, in one. Yeah, I just can't. I, um, and having the planner separate, so like having a faith planner and a health and wellness planner, yes. journal planner, all yeah. separate. Yep, those are your knuckles. Um, just didn't work for me. Um, and mom got it works better to have it all in one yeah. binder. It makes me so happy. It makes you so happy? Yeah. So that is my uh, January 2020 setup. Um, yes, I am still transformer planning. I've been transformer planning for almost a year now. Um, I did alter it when I added the cover. Um, I took off the back covers um, and just used the front covers. It just makes it so much nicer because, you know, just you know what section you're in. <laughs> if that makes sense. There's no question about it. There's no looking at the top yeah. trying to find the right tab. So, um, it just works for me and it allows me to use and display my pretty covers because I have a lot of pretty covers now. So, anyways, that's what we have. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found value in this video. Yeah. Um, if you liked this, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our videos. We do post weekly. Um, we kind of slacked the last couple of weeks because of Christmas and then kids got sick during the Christmas vacation and that kind of stuff. So anyway, <laughs> we will learn next or this coming Christmas. We're just going to film a couple of weeks in advance. <laughs> because Christmas just gets way too crazy. Huh. Yep, you had to spend two days on the couch because you were just too sick. Huh. Or pretty much slept for two days and then she woke up at 2.30 this morning wanting to play because she wasn't tired anymore. Huh. Give me a kiss. I love you. Okay, so that's our video. Um, we'll see you on the next one. Yeah. Say bye. 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 Charlie's going to hang up on you.